Hey everyone, so when we typically think of the conflict in the Middle East, there's a lot of discussion as to what type of dispute this particular uh, situation is. Is it a religious dispute? Is it a land dispute? A lot of people think, oh, it's just a dispute over land. Take a look at Dr. Hamid when he's asked by a reporter what his reaction, what his explanation is, and then we'll talk about it. Palestinian crisis uh, a land dispute in your opinion? No, I don't think so at all. It's a religious issue and I ask it one but, but, but it's it's mainly when you see the 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 whole Palestinian issue their problem is they don't want Jews to survive there. So if all Jews became Muslims one day, they will have no problem with that. So the issue with them is is Jews. I asked one day a friend of mine, if all Jews converted to Islam in Israel, will you still have this fight and trouble? He said, of course not. I said to him, then this is not a problem of a lot. It's a problem just because they are Jews. So, and when you listen to the Arab media, when you follow the Arab media, when you follow the people who are, it's all about a religious war against the Jews and they wanted to take it further to, to apply the prophecies that Muslims will slaughter and kill every Jew in the world. This is one of the prophecies in some book called Al-Bukhari. It's not in the Quran. Uh, but it's in a book called Al-Bukhari that's well respected by many Muslims as a source of hadith book for the words of Prophet Muhammad and there is, is, there is this what they dream about is to fulfill this prophecy of killing every Jew there. So, so the problem here is, is in my, it's, it's not a view when you listen to the mosques, uh, when you listen to the sermons, when you see the media, how they incite hatred and violence against people just because they are Jews. So you will realize that it's not a land dispute. And what if America pushes Israel to concede land and to establish? This will encourage the jihadists more and more in their path. In fact, the America should do the opposite. When the jihadists attacked the America in September 11, they wanted to see these concessions, happen, ha concessions happening. And if you showed them concessions, they will just attack you again. As when you were weak in 1998, and you didn't respond strongly enough against the attack on your embassies in Kenya and Tanzania, they attacked you again, and it was stronger. But when you went very hard on them, they haven't attacked you for years and because they are afraid of you. So they, the jihadist mind is a different mind. You have to show them that, that what they want to achieve, they are getting the opposite. So if they are expecting you to do pressure on Israel, for example, to do concessions to them, then in fact you do the opposite of this. And this will give them a lesson, don't attack us again, because we will not surrender to you and we will do the opposite of what you want. So they feel they are losing, not gaining by their attacks. This is the message that you have to convey to them at, and so to, to change their mind and to make them think twice before attacking you again or trying to attack you. So two important points I think that he makes, and he's uh, again of uh, Muslim Arab background, uh, Arab Muslim background, excuse me. And um, the, the two points I think that are important that everyone should perhaps take away from this are number one, that it's not a dispute over land. It is a religiously oriented battle by radicals that have a, a very specific ideology about eradicating those that are not of their particular religious uh, mindset that includes other Muslims that are not of their particular religious mindset um, and that's not only against Jews and not only against Christians but again other Muslims as well uh, and so it's, it is a religiously oriented uh, pursuit that, that, that the terror comes and that's number one number two is that because it's a religiously oriented um, uh, war then giving land is not going to do anything to quell uh, any sort of, of, uh, of tension. And in fact, as, as I, I believe that Dr. Hamid uh, correctly pointed out, was that when you do concede land, it only makes them go, get stronger and go harder. And uh, that's why no land for peace uh, is ever an option, any real option uh, on the table. So um, just food for thought when you when you're thinking about the context of how this war and how the history of this war kind of plays out it is not about land or land for peace it is about an ideological battle of radical islam against those that are not members of radical islam